What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is all about tool bags. I get a few people who uh, have asked me, you know, what do you carry in your tool bags? What do you not carry? I guess for me, the answer is a little harder because I'm doing a lot of different things. If you were just framing houses, you would carry the same stuff every single day. If you were just trimming out houses on the inside, hanging interior doors and doing uh, baseboards, doing door casing, then your setup would be completely different. Same thing if you're an electrician, they usually have a smaller pouch and that's just stuff to do electrical. So I'll kind of go through the few bags that I have and I'll go through the setup and what's in the bag as it currently sits. I literally pulled it out of my van so you guys can see what's in there right now. So let's get right into it. All right, first bag. So this is not even a carpenter or finished carpenter bag. What this is is actually an electrician's bag that I bought. Um, it's a dead on brand and I think I might have gotten it at Home Depot, I believe. So I got the, the electrician's pouch on this side and on this side, all I have is a cheap Husky pouch. And that is literally all that I use when I'm um, doing interior work. And the reason for that is because I don't want to wear my big bags because you don't want to be, when you're inside doing work, most of the time the house is finished unless you're doing new construction all the time. But even then, you don't want to be banging your tool bags and everything up against the wall, up against the trim and the door jam and stuff because you're going to mar it up and, and, and scratch it and you're going to mess it up. So that's why I try not to do that and wear the big bags. Instead, this is all I wear. This is a dead-on bag, and like I said, this is not a carpenter's bag, this electrician pouch, but it just works perfect because everything that I need to do interior work uh, goes in here. Now, I don't have anything in here, and the reason for that is because in my VersaStack box, I have all my finished nailers, and then this just rests on top of that. This way I can pull this out, load all my tools in there, and then go. And I've had this bag for a long time. You know, it's still getting beat up, but it still works great. It has plenty of storage on the inside, plenty of uh, places for your pry bar. I bought this only to put my tape measure and glue on this side and then I put my clamps in here. I put my nail set in here. So there's there's plenty of room for more stuff but you know you, when you're doing interior trim there's really not a ton of tools that you need in order to do it. Okay the next bag. This is more set up for uh, framing and I mean you could use this as a finished bag if you wanted to but like I said when you're inside doing stuff um, this bag is pretty, these bags are pretty big. You know, you don't want to be, you don't want to really be working inside with, with bags this size. So AWP sent me this um, bag set a while ago. It has to have been probably at least a couple years ago. And I tried it out on the job site for a few weeks. And I will say if, if you're framing every day um, and you're new to it, you don't have a lot of money, this will, this will hold up for a while. But if you're really banging it up and, and you're framing every single day, uh, the nylon is, is pretty thick though, but I would think over time it's eventually going to wear out and probably get holes in the bottom of the bags. But if you're just starting out, you need something entry level. I mean, this is definitely going to get you pretty far for the price. The belt's padded on the, around the hip area. These are Velcroed, so these can be unvelcroed, undo the belt, and put them in a different area. Uh, like I said, this is more for framing because it has the bigger pouches in there, spots to put some of your tools on both sides. Uh, it has a square holder here. So close up of this bag, um, it does have suspenders. It does have a cell phone pocket that's elastic so you can fit a bigger phone in there. Uh, it has the hammer loop in the back. It has the, uh, I would say with the belt, it's an nylon belt. Um, I didn't wear long enough to really, really break it in. I don't know if they would get a little bit more um, flexible, you know, after using it for a while and working a sweat up in there, I, I would imagine it would. The only problem with uh, framing bags is a lot of times they're set up um, for right-handed people. It seems that way. And I'm left-handed, so I got to do everything the opposite. But, you know, this is the left side, so you got a big framing pouch in there, plenty of spots to put a pry bar, cat's paw, um, pencils and things like that. You got another pouch here, and then you can put all your nails and screws in here. This side, same thing, another big pouch, and then... Um, this actually has an area where you can put your square, but it's kind of tight, so I would think after a while, I hope that would get broken in so it'd be a little easier to get in and out of there. But anyways, entry level for sure. If you're, if you're just starting out framing, you don't have a lot of cash, you need something to just hold your tools until you can afford something nicer, uh, this will definitely get you by at least for a while. I'm not sure how long these would hold up. After a while though, I, I think that um, banging around, getting wet and stuff all the time, 
and scratched up. I'm, I'm assuming the nylon's pretty thick, but I think over time these might wear out. If you're setting them on the ground a lot, this bottom might wear out. Um, it does have two handles also here, so when you're done at the end of the day, you can carry it like this. Okay, last but not least, this bag. And as you can see, it's got all my stuff in there because I like this bag the best and I use it the most, so my stuff always stays in this bag. Okay, first, the bag, these bags are not cheap. They are expensive. And I'll show you on my phone how much they are. But I will say, um, this is probably gonna be the last uh, set of tool bags I ever have to buy. I'd have to really uh, not take care of this in order for that to not happen, have to buy another another set. So I figured I would give you guys a better close up. This is everything that was in there right now. Came straight out of my van like this. I didn't mess with anything. This is everything that was in there. Uh, depending on what I'm doing, I do take some stuff out of there. You know, if I know I'm like building a deck and I'm I'm to a, the I'm at the framing stage, like I don't I don't keep this in there. Okay. So when I can, I try to take some stuff out. You know, if I'm framing a deck, I'm not going to bring my stud finder. Um, so if I'm doing, depending on the job that I'm doing, I will take some stuff out here just to try to make the bags a little bit lighter and take some weight off of me. But for the most part, all this stuff is always in my bags. And I've seen a lot of other bags that have even more stuff in there that are jam-packed even more than this, but this is generally what's in there. Like I said, I modified a little bit here or there, but you can definitely fit a lot of stuff in these bags. This is the by far the most expensive bag, and this is made by Occidental, and this is the model number 9850. And the main reason why I bought this is because they can set this up to be right-handed or left-handed. And I bought the lefty bag because this side, if you guys can see that, has a spot for uh, chisels, my pry bar, my cat's paw, a carpenter's knife can go in here and it's all, it's a, a plastic case so it doesn't cut this, a spot for a pencil, and all of that stuff I grab with my left hand. So that's why I bought the lefty bag because the other one, this bag is on the other side. And then in here I usually just keep um, my string line in there. Now this side, it has the tape measure spot here, which when I'm measuring something, I always grab my tape measure with my right hand and mark with my left. Another big pouch there. I kind of just throw miscellaneous stuff in here. A uh, spot for your square here, which is awesome perfect spot for that and it's just so convenient because it always stays there it's not in this big pouch you ever try to pull it in and out and then you can see i still got some nails and screws in there that i didn't take out has the hammer loop in the back the only thing i will say is this hammer loop did not come with this bag the one that came with it was the longer one where you can keep a hammer or you can uh keep a set of uh snips and i found every time i was bending over this bottom part since it was so much taller, it was always catching on the back of my, my pants and my belt. So I decided to get rid of that and uh, got this, this one instead. I haven't had a problem since. Just so you guys can see, I actually bought this bag on Amazon too. Um, it's a 9850 and it's called the adjust fit because the belt here, you can adjust it um, to make it a little bit bigger or smaller outside of just using the, um, the holes that are already come in the belt. But um, I have the lefty version and just so you guys can see, Focus on the camera, that's how much it costs, okay? So this is not a cheap bag. Compared to the AWP one, which is uh, a little bit less than a hundred bucks, um, this is definitely a lot more expensive bag. And even though it's more expensive though, this bag is, these are gonna hold up better. Um, I decided to go with the nylon slash leather just cause I don't know, I'm just not an all leather guy and I thought the nylon might be a little bit lighter. But I mean, this stuff is so thick and one of the good things about these bags you see, they took the bottoms and have the leather on the bottom so the nylon won't wear out. These bags have held up super well. I love them. They're comfortable. The belt is comfortable. I only have two complaints about this bag. And one of the complaints is not even about the bag. The only really complaint I have about this rig system is that no matter what I do, if I have it up like this and I'm done for the day, these don't want to stay for whatever reason, just the way it's designed, these don't want to stay up. See, they want to just naturally fall down. And if you don't take your time and set them down right, you set them down like this, that's what happens too. And I know it sounds like the weirdest thing, but when you set them down, one of these bags just wants to tip over to one side and then all the stuff spills out. That's really the only bad thing about 
these bags. It doesn't have the carrying straps here, uh, which doesn't bother me really, because at the end of the day, I just grab it like this, so that's no big deal to me. The only other complaint that I have that's not related to the bag is this right here. They're suspenders. Now, these sus suspenders are ones that they make. It's their brand that are meant to go on, on a bunch of different bags, and this is one of the ones that fits on, but I could not get these suspenders to be comfortable. I read the instructions to the T, did everything they told me to do, got it all set up, and it just was not comfortable. When I was doing stuff uh, at waist level and below, it was okay, but the second I went to do anything higher up, it just put so much strain on my shoulders. I'm like, this is just, I had to take them off. I had to get rid of them. And then ever since I did, it's just way more comfortable. All the weight is on my hips, not on my shoulders and on my back. So these, in my personal opinion, these were 100, like 125 bucks. I don't recommend buying these. These were not good. They were not worth the money. And I am not the first person to complain about it. If you guys get on social media, you guys can kind of see on their Instagram page, some other people complain about the exact same thing. And I followed the instructions to the T and they just still did not work out. Don't forget guys, give me those thumbs up, share these videos, hit that bell for notifications, subscribe to my channel,